Hi, I'm Greg Brown, and I'm the leader of Ascend International, which is an apostolic network. We have ministers from all over the world connected to Ascend International. Many of them are located in Arizona, but there are people from different states and different nations. And what we do is we bring ministries together that are working in different locales in equipping the church to bring people into the kingdom of God. Today I have a very interesting person that I want to interview, and I want you to join me as we're going to be meeting Jared Walter. So Jared, welcome to the program Thank today. You. And I'm glad that you're here. And you have a great ministry called Growth, Inc. And I want you to tell us a little bit about how it got started and what it's doing. So Growth, uh, we call it Growth Group. It's, it's God reaches out with these hands. And it's a, it started as a ministry in Africa to where we wanted to be able to empower the individuals there, the pastors, the leadership. And we, we really feel it's a God-ordained mission to begin to make the pastors in Africa self-sustaining. And so what we do is we, we come in and we bless the vision God's already given them for business. And we come alongside and we, we coach, we mentor, and we, we really raised up, not, I guess, by God's leading an apostolic network to where each city has their leader and that leader mentors and pastors the other pastors in the, in the region and then starts new churches and businesses as God directs. Let me ask you this question, because when you told me this story, this vision, it's a brand new wineskin of how we can fund missions by putting seed money into businesses in, in the international community. Right. We literally, that one-time seed can begin to recreate, recreate, and keep that ministry growing. How big can a ministry get with a one-time seed? A ministry, basically a one-time seed, what we use is uh, the standard for international small business development is $500. And what that is, is it's a dollar a day usually is earned by the average citizen of an African nation. So we're giving them 500 days worth of income. So that, it, even here in the U.S., if you received, you know, a year and a half uh, salary at one time, you'd be able to put that to good use. So that's what we're doing is really giving them a bump. Uh, so that the competition can't touch them, so that the people of God are blessed and that they're able to uh, grow wealth and then bless others out of their wealth. Now, as they're growing wealth, they have a business plan in place, and that business plan is going to provide funds for their family, and it's also going to provide funds for a church. Church and beyond that, it, it, it does that, and what's happening is, there's, as people know, there's instability in Africa. In the last post-election violence, uh, there was a lot of deaths, hand-to-hand -hand combat with machetes, left a lot of orphans. And a lot of these businesses and churches we helped start brought and took in those orphans. So then they immediately got into the orphanage business, not uh, by chance, but God kind of positioned them with the ability to be able to take care of them. So th there's a couple mainstream things that we always look to do, but then we adjust according to the current uh, political climate or what, what's happening in the region. What would be some of the businesses that are being created there in Africa? Oh, there's several. It, it, it's, it's like the marketplace here. So there would be vegetable shops, uh, poultry, farming, charcoal. Every, imagine, you know, there's no Walmarts over there. So there's a store for every kind of uh, item or service. And what we do is we ask the people that attend the church, what's your God-given vision? for what he's called you to do. And they always have one. And we just say, all right, we bless you. Write up a, a sound business plan. And here's $500. Go and be blessed. And we let the minister of the area, the apostle, oversee the pastors that oversee the people. So it's, it's not a direct involvement by us. We let it organically grow naturally the way it's set up. And so in this time, how long have you been doing this and how many churches have grown with this concept? We started... Um, as we talked briefly, m my wife and I took uh, our, not our anniversary, our wedding uh, honeymoon to Kenya in 2005. So that's about eight years now. And we've grown to, I think we've planted 11 new churches and have sustained 150 or so with this model. So 150 churches are being self-sustained with one-time seeds of approximately $500. I know some are a little more, some are a little less. But it's a really different concept than somebody giving $500 every month over and over again. Yes. This is a tremendous vision you have, Jared. I want to say thank you for coming and sharing it. If thank people you. want to learn more about this, how could they connect with you? 
uh, they could email me or look at our website. It's Jared Walther, jared.walther at growthforafrica.com or www.growthforafrica.com. And the, the, the four is the number four. Okay. Yep. Fantastic. Thanks a lot for joining Thank us you. today. God bless you. Appreciate it.